Um, so Abraham, what are some of the biggest misconceptions people have when it comes to the needs and opportunities of people living in refugee and crisis settings? What have you seen in your work? Thank you very much. Well, let me start by saying refugees are good people. <laughs> <laughs> and um, well, I could name a lot, but I will give you three. One, refugees have a very definite definition by, given by the UN. It was agreed by all countries, and they define who a refugee is. But what refugees are not, they are not economic immigrants. I think there has been a confusion. Uh, there is a lot of coverage around what is happening also with immigrants uh, on the Mediterranean Sea and uh, all that is happening around immigration, even in the US borders with uh, uh, their neighboring countries, Mexico and all those places. Refugees do not sit down to plan, to calculate, and uh, you know, go to family members and say, I'm going to collect money, and when it gets to 4,000, I can pay you know, a bus driver to take me across the border. No, they don't have such a planning, so they are not economic immigrants. Another thing is, the refugee problem is not a quick fix problem. Uh, very often, we treat refugees as though uh, it's, it's just there and it's going to finish tomorrow. That's not true. I'm a refugee myself. At 16 years old, I went through a camp. But unfortunately, some of the people that I grew up with, I ran along with them, fled the conflict. Since 1991, some of them are still in camps. Mm -hmm. I've seen the same in Pakistan. You can go to Somalia and Kenya. There are still the refugees there uh, over 20 years. You go, you know, we, we thought the situation in Syria, OMS, you know, it was just going to be uh, one week and then everything will stop. Today we're counting over a million and a half uh, refugees that have fled into other countries. So we need to put in our mindset that it's a long-term problem. The programming around uh, refugees and will change from being the short-term to looking at their long-term needs. And the last thing I want to talk about is uh, refugees are people and every human being is a complex being. We all have it's not, you know, one size fits all. Mm -hmm. um, as a 16-year-old running from a war, I was looking, my parents, I ran with my parents, and they were looking backwards. You know, my dad was concerned about his houses or, or property that he had lost, uh, his friends that he has lost, all of the things that he left behind. I was like, my dreams, you know, everything that is in the future, where are my dreams? How do they fit in this context? What am I going to be? if I stay in this place. So we have to start looking at, let's put it in terms of curtailing, like uh, sewing for the person. The same can happen in health, because very often we see that even the health that is provided in refugee camps or refugee situations uh, is very general. It doesn't address, at the time that I ran, probably mental health was the most uh, mm -hmm. sufficient thing that I would have needed, mm -hmm. but it was not even there. Mm -hmm. Thank you.